what's happening fandoms welcome back to the channel if you're new here we react to music videos and shows today we're going back to cyberpunk edge runners episode 8 we're getting closer to the end this one's called stay in our previous episode which was called stronger we experienced that there was some passage of time uh David and Lucy live together in a massive, crazy cool apartment. Um, David is chromed out and bulked up. Months at least have passed since the uh, incidents where uh, Maine and, and uh, Dorio died. Uh, and now David seems to be running the show. Um, and we uh, were formally introduced to a new character uh, Falco, voiced by Matthew Mercer, one of our favorite voice actors, and uh, he's a driver. Seems to be a fairly uh, down-to-earth, mellow kind of guy, and we saw him in action in one of their uh, little adventures. We also got reintroduced to Faraday, who is coming back now to David to, to get him to prove that he's good enough to do work for them, but I think it's all um, some sort of a setup. Militech is, I think, probably interested in the cyberware that David is running that uh, Arasaka was so interested in as well. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's dive in and see what hijinks the crew gets up to today. No intro song. Director Evans? Shall I adjust all our deadlines to accommodate your personal schedule? N no, sir. It's just... This is Arasaka. When got into the academy, I, I wanted to surprise him. It's no problem, sir. I'll grab the sample myself. How yeah. very kind of you. Very Fetch it. Weird. And then get out of my sight. Oh, what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> oh, dear. David showed up. Interesting. So, David went solo inside Arasaka, took out some dude that was a jerk, killed his assistant, which is unfortunate. She's probably an innocent. Um, hmm. And he said he lost it for a second, so maybe he's starting to experience blackouts or cyber psychosis in some way hmm i don't know certainly where this show is headed he's gonna cyber psycho out on us by the end i think a different trail most likely but maybe we'll get lucky and see them merge yeah let's switch one it of up. them is david and see one of the them is lucy i think fruit. We'll need one of Militech's mutts. Who do we know that's on their payroll? Yep, here it comes. Look out! Ooh. It looks like Faraday escaped really somehow. Killed. But Arasaka, how can you be sure? Check your tone, Faraday. You're running out of time. Our patience is running thin. There's You're aware always that Arasaka's a fish. security has been very tight. They clearly view the cyberskeleton as a market game changer, worthy of their utmost vigilance. You ask too much. Hmm. Not gonna show us who that is, huh? Cocky, self-important brat. Yeah, it did sound like a young voice. Some son of a Militech executive or something. He's looking pretty haggard. David? Uh, oh, sorry, my bad. Did I wake you? Can't sleep? I need to sleep. Okay, good night then. Hmm. Love the tattoo design. Twitching. Run down diner yep. meet up with the counter intel of the world's greatest megacorp. We must eliminate any and all persons aware of the cyber skeleton's existence. Done. 
he's playing both sides, yes. of course. The medals of Netrunner. Since Tanaka's death, they have been interfering with our data recovery efforts regarding the cyber skeleton. Though skilled, our bounty is most likely non-corporate and edge runner. A perfect job mm. for a fixer, wouldn't yeah. you agree? Interesting. Is this an official contract? A cool million for bringing the runner in alive. Half of that for just their head. And Faraday. We're back on his payroll. Mm. Oh, yeah. Main stuff is Cirque. Zip. If you saw David. Mm. Some, something yeah. on your mind, Luce? She wants to ask no, about no, like, his Twitch. Happy to hear he's holding up, Saul. Fucking mysterious. Even, even for you. Won't pry, though. These, Never these trust the conversations are like texting. Me who taught you. <sighs> you? Oh, yeah. Remember that. <laughs> okay. Nice. Ooh, Becca took her down. Fuck with that. Be seeing you. Yeah. Okay, Falco. I <laughs> love the country accent. Falco, let me out too, Chum. Huh? Yeah. Expect me to drink alone with those old farts. Hmm. Can't promise I'll be any more fun. I think she's you got something for yourself. him. You wanna take a walk? Huh? Uh, sure. You know, ain't no one I watch as close as I watch you. Yeah. Come on, David. She's got a thing for him, I think. What's the matter? It's nothing. Cut the shit, please. Not your problem, Becca. Like hell it's not. I put my life in your hands daily. I can't see you end up like him. Mm. Yeah. She's afraid. He's going psycho. <sighs> Ooh, she's diving. Where's she going? Interesting. She's following a net runner or something. Damn Sokka's still sending in runners. Surveilling them. Ooh. Come on, David. You're losing your shit here. Mm. Mm. This is a no, flashback no, to the first guy. Copy? Yeah, he's not okay. Talk to me. Oh man, he is not okay. Oop. David! What the hell? First off the cliff with no way back off. Yeah. Oh. Just give me fucking stronger meds then. Well, shit. Either you ain't hearing me, Chumo, you're already off the deep end. <coughs> yeah, he's already <coughs> gone. There, your last creep. Nine times standard dosage. Not like you're ever coming back here anyway. Yeah, he knows. Just yesterday, a punk kid pushing XBDs for a quick buck. Go on, become that legend. Hey! Oh. Don't do that shit. Your body, your mind, they have limits, David. Because of Maine and my mom. Both had plans for me, left me things to do. He's addicted to it. Stuff I ain't done yet. Needs, Wait, you really? Needs the power. David, you can't go on like this. I'll be fine. Who knows how many thugs I've killed? How many goons? I lost count. Grew numb to it. But uh, You're right. an innocent person I really am losing it. messes you up David, more, look, huh? I ain't normal. <laughs> you and me again. Turn back the clock. Roll back some cyberware. Can't quite do that yet. Need just a little more time. She's Why on a four? mission of her own. There's something I have to do. Yeah. Can't tell me. I'm sorry. 
She's probably doing something for him. I don't know Maybe what it we is. Should, you know, go our separate ways. We'll talk when I get home. Please wait for me. Oh, she got some sort of a, an alert that something was happening. She's got to dive to go take care of something. There you are. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. It was a trap set for her. Faraday, you fucker. Looks like we just landed our ticket into Arasaka. Kiwi did her dirty? Oh, my God. Oh, I cannot believe... I cannot believe that Faraday and Kiwi are coming after Lucy. <sighs> like, oh my God, that's, that's so much worse than if just some random net runner had, had trapped her. It's just so much worse. The betrayal is just palpable. Oh my God. How is, how is Kiwi going to deal with this? <sighs> Maybe it won't bother her. Maybe everybody is just corrupt and heartless and terrible in this world. Wow. That, that really hurts. Um, wow. That really hurts. I, I hate that that's what's happening. Um, I kind of suspect that Lucy is on a mission trying to in some way like clear a path for David like remove information about him make him untraceable something along those lines like get rid of the data that points to him having the Sendevistan uh, or being linked to Arasaka in some way I somehow I feel like that's what she's doing um, and, uh, wow. So now he's about, he, Faraday's about to deliver Lucy alive to Arasaka. And that's going to lead to David losing his shit. And so, wow, this is going to end up just a bloodbath. Ooh. So, um, so uncool. I knew Faraday was going to be trouble. And playing both sides, double. Yeah, wow. So fucking messed up. Man, that just makes me angry. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Um, so David's going to have to try and rescue her. Who knows if he succeeds or not. Everybody dies. He's going to be pissed at Kiwi. He's going to be pissed at Faraday. Somehow he's going to find all of this out. I don't know if Rebecca lives through this. I don't know if he... Uh, I I feel like we're going to lose just about everybody. That's, this, that's the kind of story that we're living in here. Is that we're going to lose almost everybody. Maybe Lucy survives. Final girl, best girl Lucy. I don't know. We'll see. We'll leave it right there, I guess. Um, thanks so much for following along the series with us. Um, appreciate all the support and comments. And uh, man, this has really been good. I'm so, I mean, it, it hits you really hard with all the feels, but it's a great story and I'm loving it. So thank you again and see you in the next video.